Hi everyone, it's Morgan from For Love of Paper and I am here with a quick little process video for you. I am using this month's Scrapping Fun kit, which is a spring theme kit with the lots of yellow and purple and flowers, which is really fun. And I am scrapping this photo of my sister um, that I took while I was on holiday in New Zealand and I've printed out our black and white um, so it can coordinate a bit better with this particular kit. I think she was wearing like red in the background. There was blue and green. So it was a, a mix mash of colors. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why I printed that one black and white. And I just prefer black and white photos, to be honest, especially when I'm scrapping them. Um, so yeah, I trimmed the photo down and then I was getting all my bits and pieces ready looking at all the pieces from the kit to see which ones I wanted to use. And there were so many nice bits in this kit, I wanted to use everything. <laughs> but I, I, I couldn't I couldn't use everything on one layout. It would just be too much, I think. Um, but I did get quite a bit of it on there. I surprised myself, which was nice. So first of all, as I said, trim down the photo and then I mount it on some black cardstock and that's my base. I did leave a white border like um, around the photo, so it printed with that already. Sorry, um, <laughs> I when I edited this video, it was kind of a little bit late at night, so I've missed a couple of bits where <laughs> there's nothing happening on screen, but you know, that's usually when I'm wandering away getting various things that aren't um, at hand when I need them and just using this really old tape runner. The tape part's broken and there's not much left on it and I can't be bothered fixing it just for the last couple of meters. So I do struggle <laughs> with that one you will see throughout the video. And uh, just trimming down this black cardstock. I think I left about a, about a three millimeter border on each side with the black and the white is probably about the same around the side and then I think I was going to mat it again on that yellow paper that came in the kit but um, decided not to on this occasion just went with the photo plane by itself and then I knew I wanted to have a black border around my whole layout as well just to tie in with the um, photo so going ahead and doing that, again, I just cut off whatever it would have been, three or four inches from each side and go to stick that down. And I had to get some more tape because I've run out. I actually went to um, the scrapbooking shop on the north side of Brisbane, Arnold Scrapbooking. They are closing down, which is very sad. Even though I don't live on that side of town anymore, I used to go there a lot because it was my only scrapbooking shop. Now I've got none where I live here, but um, I used to frequent there a lot. And when I heard they were closing down, it happened to be, oh, well, last week. And we were going up to mum's last weekend. So I stopped in and got a few goodies that they'd, they'd got a bit of a sale happening. And I managed to pick up um, five more rolls of tape they do five rolls for ten dollars which is a bargain anyway and then I got another 25 percent off so I was pretty happy with that I've got tape to last me probably another six months <laughs> let's be honest here actually no I should get a bit longer out of that I think the last lot that I've bought has lasted me nearly a year so I should be right for a while now I'm just trimming down this tag so it's kind of a um a gray background with some pink spots and then it's got the beautiful birdcage in it with the um, the dark pink numbers down the side and I did want to put some twine through um, the top of that so I used my hole punch to punch that hole get it ready for what I'm going to do with it and then oh as you saw before I was going to mount this the photo on that but it was just too much it was, um, it was just too busy so I decided just to use a little um, strip of it and 
then go through and trim down some of the other embellishments. So this one is a, um, what is it? A little word label and it says beautiful. And I thought that went nicely with the photo. And I have asked my sister for permission to post this video also. And she said I could, so that was nice. <laughs> See, I don't know, I like, it. it's alright if it's my, like, my immediate family, like my kids and my husband, and I mean, I don't like them being on there all the time, but you got to scrap something, um, but if it's anyone else, I kind of like to, to get their permission, and if I don't, I usually will stick a sticky note over their face, especially if it's other people's kids, I'd never put other people's kids without permission on there, I know it's a bit of a touchy subject, but it's just the way it is, I think. And then I wanted to get, I wanted to use all these flowers. So yeah, I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted and where I wanted it. I, I could have just stuck them everywhere, <laughs> all over the place. They're so pretty. I love pansies and I love purple and yellow. They would have to be one of my favorite color combinations. Um, so it was it was hard to decide which ones I wanted to use. So I was just layering up a few pieces, had the doily there. I cut off another strip of the yellow um, pattern paper that came with the kit. And yeah, just building up a little cluster of things off to the side. And I don't think this washi actually makes it into the layout in the end. I did put it up there, but then I decided it didn't really it didn't really go how I wanted it to unfortunately but it can sit there for a little moment and oh that's right I got out a little bit of thin washi as well that one's just from my stash that didn't come in the kit this um layout here I think I only added one two three four four things that went from the kit so that piece of washi, and then I do add a, um, another little couple of things to it as well, um, which is nice. It's really nice when you can get a kit and you can just use that. Like you don't have to add tons and tons of other stuff um, to be able to complete a layout. I really, really like that. So this one was just easy to be able to do that with a couple of little extras. And I do fluff around with this top corner for a while, don't I? <laughs> so adding down the black piece and then I decided to go with the butterfly washi instead. Um, I just thought that looked a bit um, bit nicer. It wasn't quite as, um, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? As bold as the other one. So it kind of matched in with that paper. A little bit more muted, I suppose and threading up some twine through the label and then I realized I'd cut them a little bit short but never mind you get that and I think that's pretty much everything that I add to the main part of this layout hmm. yeah I'm pretty sure that's it so I just go back and start sticking everything down now um, if you've watched any of my other previous videos, you will know that's that's pretty much how I work. I lay everything out to where I like it, and then I go back and stick everything down again. Um, yeah, so this photo um, was taken in New Zealand. was um, at... I can't remember where we were. We'd gone out for lunch to a burger place, and I can't remember the name of the burger place. It's got a really... it's It's got a good name. It's quite funny, but I can't cannot for the life of me remember what it's called um and my sister had been there and she said it was really good it's like a um, American diner style restaurant which is really fun and so we went there and had lunch and Frank was taking photos of everyone at the table and my sister I think Justine was looking at um at Sam being Sam being the crazy kid that he is and she was just or she, I thought or she was staring off into nowhere and he happened to snap that photo so it was really really nice I don't get many photos of <laughs> other family members that aren't my um my boyfriend boys 
these days so it was nice to scrap something else and nice to scrap another another female that wasn't me um to do a nice feminine layer I think the last girly layer I did was the one one of my nana and roman yeah I'm pretty sure that was the last somewhat feminine layout that I did so it was it was definitely a nice change to be able to do that and now gluing everything down just with that tape roller that was driving me crazy the the paper like the backing paper kept getting stuck and oh I can't wait for it to be finished I really should just throw it out but I don't have the heart to to waste it I just see it as throwing away money and I can't do that <laughs> oh and oh that's right I went to get a pin so that I could um unstick the the top of my um glue bottle and then that's right I couldn't find a pin so I ended up using one of these um sticky dot things on the back of the flower and I'm not sure if you can hear in the background, but my little man has just woken up for his nap or from his nap. So I am going to have to go and get him and come back with the rest of this voiceover. So after I glued everything down, I just went and opened up the little uh, sequin packet and pulled out a couple of those um, little metallic flowers I did a purple one and a yellow one on there and then I scattered a few sequins sequins around the page and when I do I, I like it when um, we get the little seed beads in there as well because I usually um, stick them on top of my sequins as well now and I got this little tag out of my stash I think that might have been from Delish Scraps, one kit, and I hadn't used it, and I just wanted a little journaling spot. It has got some lines on it. Um, I don't journal in the video, but I just write a little bit on there. There's not much space, but enough for a few words. And then just sticking all these sequins down where I want them. And up the top there, I did put a flare badge down, and then a little label sorry I thought I'd finished and then I decided that I hadn't quite finished so I came back um to do something else so the, yeah there's the flare badge up there and a little um label sticker from my stash it's from Heidi Swap and it's got gold gold stripes down one side of it and then I just went and found some tiny word stickers sorry the little man is sitting in front of me while I finish this one off and I just put one of those chipboard stickers that says right now. That's all. And then a black line border around the edge. And that is this layout done, guys. So thanks again for watching. And I will leave a link to the Scrapping Fun Kits blog below. So you can go and subscribe and get yourself a kit. And don't forget to um, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Bye.